audio on Android. I'm just scrolling up and going through my apps here and you'll find that the default recording recorder for Android is called recorder. It's a red circle right here. I just click on it and normally it will open to this screen. So you have the red circle. This is a sample recording from Android recorder, the default app. So it's recorded. I can actually get the transcription at recorder.google.com if you want to do that. But in this case, I'm just going to long press on it and share. And I'm just going to share the audio to my drive. And I've got a workshop file for it. It's an M4A, which is a compressed file. Um, traditionally, they use WAV files, which are uncompressed, but this would work for a recording if you're just trying to get the sound so you can hear it. If you're analyzing it, you might want to look at a different format. Save that, and now I've saved it to my Google Drive. I'll show you one more method that you can use from Android. So it's not using the default app. This one will be using WhatsApp. And I'm going to a browser and I type in wa.me slash slash and then my phone number or my WhatsApp number. The wa is whatsapp.me. So this is a way to send myself a message on WhatsApp. So I'm going to continue to chat. At this point, I hold the button in the bottom right to record. This is the recording of a WhatsApp audio file. So now I have a recording of WhatsApp and I long press again on that and I can share it. And again, I'm just going to go to my Google Drive, share it in workshop. I need to give it some kind of a, a name, WhatsApp recording. And lower my keyboard and save in the bottom right corner. So now I have two separate audio files that I created on Android 12. One using the default app and one using WhatsApp sending to myself. And now I will transition to my Windows computer in order to show you how to bring that into Flex. Okay, so now we're on a Windows device and we're going to be bringing in the audio files that were recorded on the Android mobile device. So I recorded them on Android, moved them to Google Drive. Now from Google Drive, I'm going to download by right clicking and download. So I select this file, right click, download. Now I have both of the audio files from Android on my Windows local machine because I downloaded the, download those. So now I go to my Flex program and inside of Lexicon and a specific entry, I go to pronunciation, click on the left triangle, insert sound or movie. And they appear to not be there, but if I change my sound files by clicking on the little carrot there and click all files, now they're here. So I can take my recording from, from the Android default and insert it here. I'm gonna copy it, which moves it from, which leaves it in its original location, but also moves it so it will be part of the file if you ever export Fieldworks. The problem with this, maybe not problem, the, the consideration here is that if you do a lot of these audio files, then your file will be really large when you go to share it with someone else. But as you can see, it's in the Fieldwork project and the name of the project, T3, which is the name of this project, and the files here. So I'm going to click on the little triangle on the right here. That'll bring up my audio player. And if I wasn't recording right now, you would be able to hear the audio file that was just that, that we recorded. But because I'm recording and it's listening to audio, it overrides playback on that. So that's the process. Again, you're right left, click on the left triangle to link a folder, link a file, sound file, and then click on this one to play it. So um, 
I can go ahead and delete this one and insert the sound or movie. Again, change this and do the WhatsApp recording. I'm going to leave it there just so I don't get a lot of audio files inside of my project. And again, click on this and it would play it back. So that's the example of moving it from Android into Google Drive and then from Google Drive to a local Windows machine and then importing it into Flex. One other option is that we recorded using WhatsApp on the Android. So if I go to my Chrome browser on Windows, I can go to a thing called WhatsApp Web. And in WhatsApp Web, you'll need to link it to your WhatsApp that you are using. But here is the one that we recorded using WhatsApp. And I can click on the right carrot over here and download. So now that gives me that file right down here in the bottom left. I can go back into my flex. And if I wanted to add that one, I delete the previous, insert, sound files. I now have a third one, and that's the one that I want to bring in. And now it's inside of here, and I could play it back, but I'm recording, so you can't hear it. So that's that's the the process of bringing it from Android into Windows and then into Flex.